Earl Tyrone Stevens Sr., better known by his stage name E-40, is an American rapper. He is a founding member of the rap group The Click and the founder of Sick Would It Records. He has released 26 studio albums to date, appearing on numerous movie soundtracks, and has also done guest appearances on a host of other rap albums. Initially an, an underground artist, his 1995 solo album, In a Major Way, opened him up to a wider audience. Beginning in 1998, he began collaborating with mainstream rappers outside the San Francisco Bay Area. He rose to higher mainstream popularity in 2006 with his single Tell Me When To Go, which was produced by Lil Jon. E-40 has an estimated net worth of $8 million U.S. dollars. E-40 Early Life e 40, whose real name is Earl Taiwan Stevens Sr., was born on November 15, 1967 in Vallejo, California. He grew up with his siblings, raised by a divorced mother who worked three jobs, and he became interested in hip-hop after hearing Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. Beginning in fourth grade, Stevens played the snare and bass drum. He graduated from James J. Hogan High School in Vallejo in 1985. Stevens played baseball in high school, recorded music with his siblings, and sold their recordings from the back of a car. After high school, Stevens enrolled at a gambling state university in 1986 with his cousin, Brant Jones, and attended the school for one year. E-40's personal life E-40 lives in Danville, California with his wife, Tracy. They married in 1991 and have two children who grew up to become rappers, Earl Jr., who performs as Droopy, and Amari, Issue. E-40 is a longtime San Francisco Giants fan and gave away 15,000 figures of himself to visitors at a Giants game on June 25, 2022, where he also made the first ceremonial pitch of the game. E-40's professional career in 1986, Stevens made his rap debut under the name E-40. He performed in a group called Most Valuable Players, which also included his sister, Suga T, his brother, D-Shot, and his cousin, Be Legit. The group played at a Grambling State talent show and subsequently released the single, The King's Men. Following their early success, Most Valuable Players was renamed The Click. Through E-40's independent label, Stick With It Records, the group released an EP in 1990 entitled Let's Slide. Two years later, The Click released the album Down and Dirty, which peaked at number 87 on the Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart. In 1993, The Click had a mainstream hit with Captain Save a Ho, and in 1995, had its most successful album yet with Game Related, which made it to number 3 on the Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart and number 21 on the Billboard 200. Later, in 2001, the group had a less successful album with Money and Muscle, the final album before its disbanding in 2018. As a solo artist, E-40 originally garnered a local following in his native Bay Area. He released his debut album, Federal, in 1993, and became one of the first rappers on the West Coast to sign a deal with a major label, which he did with Jive Records in 1994. E-40's second album, In a Major Way, was released in 1995, featuring guest appearances by Tupac, Spice One, Mac Mall, and fellow members of The Click. The album peaked at number 2 on the Billboard Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart and number 13 on the Billboard 200. More success followed with The Hall of Game, which peaked at number 4 on the Billboard 200, and The Element of Surprise, which made it to number 13 before eventually being certified gold. Another gold album came in 1999 with Charlie Hustle, the blueprint of a self-made millionaire. E-40 continued his successes in the 2000s with the albums Loyalty and Betrayal, Grit and Grind, and Break and News. He began gaining more mainstream recognition in 2006 when he signed with Will John's BME Recordings and Warner Bros. Records and released My Ghetto Report Card, which became his highest charting album when it debuted at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 200, and number 1 on the top R&B slash hip-hop albums chart. Moreover, the album spawned the hit singles Tell Me When To Go, featuring rapper Keek To Sneak, and You and Dat, featuring T-Pain and Candy Burris. Along with former NFL player Chester McLaughlin, E-40 opened a Fat Burger franchise in Pleasant Hill, California, which has now been shut down. E-40 has promoted a forthcoming publication, E-40's Book of Slang, since 1998, but as of 2013, the volume has not yet been released. He is also a spokesperson for Landy Cognac, and he opened the now-defunct Ambassador's Lounge, a nightclub in downtown San Jose. On November 16, 2007, it was announced that Stevens signed a franchise agreement with Wingstop Restaurants, Inc., and will open one in Southampton Shopping Center located in Benicia, California. I was introduced to Wingstop in Dallas, and as soon as I tasted the wings, I was hooked. I love the food, said Stevens. I choose to open in the Bay Area because this is the soil where I was born and raised, and still live here to this day. People here are going to love these things. Thanks for watching, and kindly don't forget to subscribe. You can also like and share this video with friends and family.